Ninja Gaiden 3. Is this end? Hayabusa, come on. We can't wait much longer. Get the hell out of there. They're still putting up a fight. Get out of there. Save. And time to fly to the next area. No time. This is our last chance. This is all out war. They got its legs to slow it down, just like before. Shit! We got one of these guys down. Good work. Okay, so these guys aren't too tough, and just because there's two doesn't mean they're particularly all that much harder or anything. Um, same thing, and um, just try and save your um, Nimpo for these guys, because if you do take a lot of damage and stuff, you're definitely going to need it and use it for uh, the spike. And I'm very close to dying, so I can actually lose. So hopefully that didn't happen. Yep. Um, a good strategy I have always used for these guys is attacking them in the front, um, where the tip of their I guess heels are. Um, make sure, um, pretty much it ensures that you won't get attacked by the um, electrical shock. You just have to dodge the bullets and the rocket launchers, which is uh, really helpful. From a destroyer of lives. Where's Connor? Leave her out of this! How could a slave of convention and tradition understand? A bloodstained murderer at that. <laughs> Anyway, so we got Metal Lord Rex here, whatever the fuck his real name is, um, and he's not really that hard of a boss, he's just kinda annoying. It's, it's a very cliche boss, I'll say, with patterns that are very noticeable, and, um, he's just very flashy, I guess. It's not really difficult, unless you do it on the higher difficulties, and it is, but, I mean, what we're doing right now, it's not that hard. And, um, as you can see, whenever he attacks with either of the hands, just attack him. Eventually this will happen where he has a shit attack, and then you just cut off a limb, like you pretty much always do, and repeat the process, and it's pretty easy. And again, it's all about patterns. You have to watch out and see what kind of attacks he does, and pretty much counterattack. Here you can see he's doing a double, and if you're good at, again, 
figuring out patterns, then it's easy to tell when he's doing it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, so this is kind of annoying, and um, that it's just annoying. We have to use our bow, and it's, I don't know, I guess they did it so we can use our bow for once, really, I guess, is the premise. They're like, we needed a bow boss, so this is what they came up with. Um, I don't really have an issue with it, I guess, it's just kind of, this seems kind of weird that, or forced, maybe. This part's kind of hard. You have to continually be hitting this guy while dodging his attack, and he gets very close. Um, and it's um tricky if you're not good at dodging and counterattacking. And um, it's it's fun. It's pretty epic, but um, it just seems kind of forced or so. Oh shit! Oh, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Crap. Well, I don't remember that part. Now this is the part where he talks and does an entire speech, and I've never actually heard it all the way through, because it's just long and ridiculous, and um, you'll see what I'm getting at. Okay, so you can die now. Hayabusa, you're submerging. You won't be able to communicate much longer. Leave this to me. I'll find you. Thanks, Hayabusa.
hunting operation. Hey, right, well, the basic formula hack it, slash, and get to the end. We're still hacking and slashing because that's what we need to do and stuff, but um, oh, well, you get the point. Time to fly to the next area. <laughs> 